everyone, it's Louise with Louise Week Art, and I'm bringing you the weather from North Carolina in the mountains. Yeah, so I'm uh, doing the intro here on, on the back deck just because it's cool out here right now, and I did not do a proper introduction with my paints, and I was going rogue with my coasters I was making. They turned out really cool though, I'm really happy with it. So anyway, I'll call out the colors as I go, I'll do my usual spiel. This is the intro, and uh, yeah what it looks like in the back. All right, I'll get you down the canvas in a second. Stay dry. <laughs> All right, everybody, number four with this color palette. Chantilly lace. A purple. This is one hell of a color. All right, my pink diamond. It's really getting near the bottom of the barrel on this guy. Yellow. And green. Boy, there's something in here. Okay. White cell activator. Wow, that was a lot of white. Rose. Am I? So everyone, I wanted to leave that in because it, I chuckled listening to it myself. During this period, it was about a week ago, I had a cold and I couldn't figure out where my lips were. Literally, I could not find where my blow was coming from in chapped lips. So. I've compensated going through this, as you can see, and this is not normal for me to go counterclockwise. I usually go the other way. So like I've said before, when you do your blow, everyone is different, and this is no exception. So I've mentioned this before, but especially for the new folks, when I'm blowing out the cell activator, I'm always imagining skimming it over the top of the paints as I'm blowing. So sometimes it's kind of amusing to watch myself back, and I would recommend any of you record yourself so you can see what you're doing. For any new people, I'm blowing through the straw there to try to help the uh, cell activator activate and conjure up the paints that are below it to push through. Let's be patient. Let's just give this one some time to work on its own. So as I'm waiting for the center to rebound with the uh, cells, I'm just stretching the paint to the sides and the edges to make sure that when I do get ready to spin it out, it has a place to flow. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to whip through this and then get back in a second. My 
nice and easy. Might have been too easy. So again, for anyone new watching, I always clean up in between my spins so I get the paint off the spinner so I'm not flinging it around. And it gives me a moment to take a look at the composition as it's developing. Holy cats. I'm looking at it now. Spots. Let's take care of them. So for anyone newer, the spots I'm referring to are air bubbles that push through the paint from the pillow. And oftentimes it shows up as a white spot. So you can just fix it very easily by pushing into the white spot with a toothpick and pulling out gently. And usually the paint will just close in on itself and heal like a wound. And so that's what I'm doing there. And you want to do it as early as possible before you start spinning more and it continues to spread out and grow. One the other one comes through. little bit spotty on this one. I have some spotting. Oh my gosh, this is really amazing. Let's see if I can get that a little closer to the edge and have it be my frame. Let's give it a little help. we got it. Yes. Buddy. 
how this guy finished. All right, everyone, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to show the other three coasters in the end here. If you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell. I'd love to hear your comments, and hit the thumbs up. Thanks a lot. Take care, everybody. Till next time.